Rebecca, I am so glad you finally brought your boyfriend home from Yale to meet us. Yes, there's one more person in my family that you have to meet, and it's my grandpa, David Attenborough. <laughs> Wait, the guy who narrates Planet Earth and all the BBC Nature documentaries? Yes, he is my father. That's awesome. I love that guy. You don't have to live with him. <laughs> Behold, the Attenborough family in its natural habitat as they sit in eager anticipation of the evening meal. They haven't eaten since one o'clock, so their appetites are ravenous. So he's actually like this in real life. This is awesome. <laughs> Using her perfectly evolved lung sacs, the mother emits a passive aggressive sigh of disapproval. David? Why don't you go get the dinner rolls? David Attenborough has been sent on a journey. Finally, a moment of peace. David Attenborough has returned victorious. After trekking through the jungles of the kitchen, he made an ominous discovery. The phone number of Shadyside Nursing Home, taped to the fridge. We have a guest. Can we talk about this later? Becca, how did you and Jeffrey meet? Oh, uh, so I was in yoga class, and we were partnering for Downward Dog. Later, the two will circle one another until they entwine. Then he exerts his male organ. This grows longer and longer until it fans out to form a translucent, flower-like globe. Can we eat the rest of our meal in silence? Please, don't give him anything to narrate about. The beast continues to chew her prey, and that's where the fun begins. The fowl travels to her stomach, where it is converted to blubber. The manatee has ballooned to twice her size since delivering her firstborn and grows larger every year. The immensity is best viewed from above. That's it! Yes, I have put on weight, but that does not make me a beast or a manatee or a giant woolly mammoth, you pompous <laughs> asshole! David Attenborough is dying. Soon his heart will stop, and the fungi and insects will begin the process of decomposing his corpse. <laughs> you killed him. He's just being dramatic. He's dead. Grandpa! Oh, my God. David Attenborough is dead, but his ghost lives on to narrate the daily lives of his family. Join us next season on Life at Home. Well, shit. <laughs>